So Mid-Season Invitational is just one week in and we've already seen some plays that we've never seen before. Some of the world's best showed up to MSI with some creative comps and flashy oak plays. So we put them all together in a nice little package for you. Welcome to the League of Legends Plays of the Week. Robin, and as we saw for Group A, certainly there is the ability to take down some of these top teams. And for the Shark, he has the flexibility he's hello. to wave. Oh, hello. he's pointing at you, Dracos. <gasps> oh. He loves you. <gasps> Aww. No, no, no. He wasn't supposed to share that on broadcast. A little tricky to really 100 to 0 that Talia. So this is what I want to, uh, to say actually hooks up. Oh, that hook! How did that happen? The world end the pump with the resurrection. Gonna have to try and buy time to click on the lantern, but he can't see it. In and amongst the trees and all the champions just streamed into the jungle. They slowly swept everything out, forced Detonation Focus Me out of the jungle, and then went for the two-man. It does not get crisper than that. And as much as we talk about DFM having the wombo combo, having the scaling, I love that. That is that, so cool! Way. That's like, everyone else is playing 3D chess at best, maybe 4D chess, that's 7D chess. Like, that's a few layers above everyone else in this game. Pop the triple turret in, they'll take the Cloud Drake. Fifth dragon of the game for Vega. Bit cheeky step forward, but unconcerned. And meanwhile, on the top side, Ruin is activating a stopwatch for no reason. But doesn't really matter because he's still gonna run in and just smack him in the face. Oh, it's it's cyberbullying, Spawn. That is a disaster. That is a swag stopwatch. Takes the turret, takes the kill. Mongo Buffalo in response, but let's take a look at this. This is beautiful. Yeah, I mean, I thought this was gonna be a 4v1, but you can actually see them mismanaging this dive a bit. A beautiful barrel then flashes over the taunt from Pallet, avoids the flag and drag, fighting back again through that ultimate, landing the damage down on this arrow. So this is just perfectly played here by Impact. You cannot ask for more than that. Double if Jensen roaming up to respond. In comes Core JJ and is allowing them to get another kill here and finish up with that tower. Now coming out, Shinny gonna look to land the Prey Seeker follow up with the ulti, but it might not even be necessary. The sidestep though, beautiful from Zero's the flash. Gets a bit of damage down, uses oh! the ulti. Zero's still alive, goes under himself, makes it out! I can't oh! believe it! Oh, Zeros takes a bite out of Rek'Sai. Unfortunately, we won't be seeing many of those guys going forward into the MSI main stage, and it's especially sad because there's no more Vega Shark. But we finally get to watch top teams like G2, SKT, and Invictus Gaming battle it out for the title of the best team in the world. Remember, if you want more League of Legends action, tune into Squad every Monday, and of course, hit that sub button or hit us up on all the socials at Squad State.